just been seeing Chris Cornell. It's fucking wicked, mate. I saw him at Coast and all, and he did all the classics. All the good ones. He did so good, mate. It was just him and his guitar. And his voice was so good. He was like, rah, rah, rah. It was so good, mate. I could not tell you how amazing it was. So I'm just going to tell you my top five Chris Cornell songs. My top five Chris Cornell songs are at number five. Long gone, mate. Long gone, mate. I am in the snow now and I've got top to bottom video I am really cold mate that was of course long gone by Chris Cornell produced by Timberland my number four is audio slave with be yourself be yourself mate I'm not in this video mate because I'm minding like this really quietly mate because mate, my voice mate, it's really, really big like this mate But I'm mining in the video mate like this mate I'm looking a bit mate like Brad Pitt mate And we is in this room mate, what is going on mate? At number three, it's the song from the James Bond, you know my name mate You know my name mate, it is Chris Cornell mate Or is it Brad Pitt mate? Or is it some busker, mate? Is it James Bond, mate? Is it Idris Elba? No, mate, it is Chris Cornell, mate. Not even Daniel Craig, mate. At number two, it is the Black Hole Sun, mate. Black Hole Sun, mate. Won't you come, mate? I don't think he should, because that would be a bit rude, mate. Black hole sun, mate. Oh, I get what you mean, mate. You mean the star, mate. My number one Chris Cornell song is the cowboy style one by Timberland called Another Part of Me. It's well good. It's like, you know that bitch I'm making a part of me, mate. You know that the bitch I'm making a part of me. You know that bitch mate ain't a part of me mate You know that bitch ain't a part of me mate Shout out to Jesus Christ pose mate You got me mate in a Jesus Christ pose mate We assume it is the crucifix mate But it could be the bit when he's rolling the stone mate So this is an episode of Bobby's Blockbusters Bobby's Blockbusters! Bobby's Blockbusters, mate. Bobby's Blockbusters. Right, so, I went to see 10 Cloverfield Lane, right? And it was wicked, mate. It's sort of like an add-on to the Cloverfield film that was all and old footage, yeah? And it's basically, it's well good, go see it. It's about basically this hot babe and she's like leaving her husband. She's like, I don't want your shit no more. I'm driving away. So she drives on the motorway and she keeps like missing calls from her, her husband. But then she gets crashed into by a pickup truck and it's all like, ah, oh, fucking shit. And she ends up in this sicko's house who is actually John Goodman. And John Goodman, he's like, all right, I'm a fat John Goodman and I've got a bunker now. And the girl's like, oh, I'm Mary Elizabeth Winstead and I've got a broken leg. Why have you changed me up? What's this going on here? And then there's another guy who lives in the parlor who's like, all right there, I'm Cold Emmett and I'm going to be living here with you all. Ha, ha, ha. So basically... The film kind of like it explores what it would be like to be in a world disaster if you like lived in a bunker with a psychopath. Or is he a psychopath? You have to watch the film to find out. There are some well good bits in it when he's like he's there watching films and they is playing Boggle and Monopoly, it's really good. And she tries to go outside at one point and there's this crazy bitch outside the bunker who's like banging her head against the wall and you're then like, oh no shit. The aliens from the Cloverfield film, they've landed and they're shaking the bunker all the time. And like, and basically they think he's a psycho, Mary Elizabeth Winslow, so she's like, hey there, I'm Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Emmett, let's, let's, I like fashion, let's make a suit that we can wear outside so we don't get infected. So it's quite a lot of montage scenes, John Goodman, the guy, when I went to the cinema, 
There was this guy in the cinema, he thought it was hilarious and he was laughing the whole way through at how, how big and fat John Goodman was. I didn't think it was that funny. I think John Goodman's just like a cool guy, really. And it made me think, oh, well, I want to get a bunker when there's the apocalypse and stuff. So, yeah, 10 Cloverfield Lane. It was so good, man. I give it like a 9 out of 10. You should go see it. I think it's still at the cinema. It was... It was so good that I want to see it again. I was a bit disappointed with one thing, mate. What, mate? Didn't kill any fucking spiders in it, did he? No, he didn't. No, and the spiders didn't come out of Mary Elizabeth Winstead's nose. Mm. Either. Yeah. No, we got that split, mate. Mate, yeah, I've got that split. And, uh, yeah, go watch it. JJ Abrams, he's like really into it too, so, you know, he produced it. And that was it. Like, he was like, oh, I'm doing this Star Wars thing, but this 10 Cloverfield Lane is going to blow your mind. And I think I preferred it to the Star Wars film. So, pretty good review, really, I'd say. 9 out of 10. That was Bobby Blockbusters! Blockbusters! Pow, 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 Blockbusters. Shout out to my mate on the YouTube or subscribe to me some well look at this he's got some videos of the Beatles fucking yeah it's well good like who would have thought that's how they did it but this guy is very informative I think he is like because David Attenborough he's doing his last nature show next week and I think this guy could replace him he's uh, genuinely got, he's got snakes eating shit and everything. he's got snakes eating shit so just check him out I'll, I'll flash the name up there for you because I so stormed me but I know he is cool with his beat was fucking video. Shout out, mate. Ian. E was the E-T-Wolf. E was the E-T-Wolf. E was the e Happy of the week is this sick guy from Texas. Theoretical. Anyway. Vanilla Wafer. He made a music video for this great song called Don't 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 Be Mean To Your Mother. And this is in honour of Mother's Day. And you should be nice to your mother, yeah? Don't be mean to your mother. 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 And don't let this chimpanzee guy around to your house because it would be well scary. Yeah? Find him at VW Music and you can Google Vanilla Wafer. He's got loads of sick videos. But yeah, don't be mean to your mother, yeah? Yeah. 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 It's on Vanilla Wafer's website. Yeah, just check it out, mate. But don't look at his face. Yeah, for later. Safe. Alright. Anyway. You are you see more. You would you see more. You would you you would for you. As in all you would be you would for shot. You would for you see more. To mention about the Chris Cornell concert, yeah, that he did this wicked cover of that Nothing Compares to You song that Prince wrote, yeah. It was amazing. I had a little cry, it was so good. And I just wanted to let you know that I have got a Prince special coming up soon. It's just taken me and Trev quite a long time to edit it because we've been really sad. So keep an eye out for it. And big shout out to Chris Cornell, mate. You as well, safe doing that cover for that purple one yeah amazing peace me